Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of the This Is Gonna Hurt podcast with Jay Gordon Duncan. And if you're wondering why the Jay, the answer is I'm not a bagpipe player. And if that joke doesn't make any sense to you, I encourage you to check out episode zero, where I explain that joke, as well as the purpose of the This Is Gonna Hurt podcast, where we talk about faith, family, fitness, finances, and sometimes fun. Well, friends, welcome, welcome, welcome. As always, thank you. We continue to march towards episode 500. You continue to like and listen and subscribe. I appreciate it so much. If you do like what you're hearing, please share it with others. And again, every week we publish an episode, you guys respond well. And I just want to say thank you. You guys have been faithful listeners. Now for, I don't know what it is, five, six, seven years, I'll have to look it up at some point in time. I think April or May might actually be the uh, anniversary coming up. Um, 500 is coming up. We've got big things uh, scheduled for that. So again, thank you. Now, if this episode looks and sounds a little different, there's a couple of reasons. Yes, I'm in the home studio, um, so just wasn't able to record at the office studio today. But I'm on a different computer, and we're going to see how this goes. My normal computer is in the shop. Um, I had to take it into the shop today. There was a chance that it would be ready in the afternoon. And they said, nope, it's going to be ready next week. So I am pivoting. Uh, so I am super happy to be with you no matter what. So I, I actually think the picture quality is a little better. I'm not quite sure about the audio. But again, thank you very much. But before we jump in, uh, real quick, one thing I would like to include in the show, uh, and I'm going to try to make this like something I do every single week, but what are resources that I'm enjoying that I want to share with you? Uh, I'm a consistent reader. I read or listened to 53 books last year, innumerable podcasts, don't even know, courses and the like. And when I can share resources with you um, that are attainable, free or affordable, I want to do it. So I'm listening to a book right now or reading a book right now called The $100 Million Journey by John St. Pierre. Uh, almost done with it. A uh, great book. John St. Pierre, I had not heard of him before this book. In fact, it just came as a recommendation from Amazon. Never heard anybody recommend it to me. But his goal was to build a $100 million business. Uh, he had two businesses. He built one to $50 million. And when he got to $50 million, he lost control of it. And then he was very discouraged. He went back uh, to the the smaller business. He got that one to $100 million, but then it was bleeding cash. And then he got that $100 million business profitable. And so the first half out of it is, is his narrative. The second half of it is the tools that he has used. And I encourage all of us to think long range. Uh, so I'm hoping to finish that book maybe even this weekend. So check it out. I'm enjoying it. I think, like I said, the first half of it is narrative, which is really enjoyable. Second half of it is a toolkit. We'll see. I'm, I'm in the second half of it right now. So guys, uh, today, uh, you know, I've had lots of conversations lately with people about how hard to work. And as we come back into the new year, there's a great push uh, to work really hard. Um, I took most of Monday off, uh, which, uh, you know, just uh, rightfully so, uh, just to get the year going. And then I had to take most of Friday off, had a small medical procedure, men and women get your colonoscopies, mine came out clear. Uh, but just because of that, here in this first week, I have not worked what I would consider to be a normal work week for myself. So I have a tendency to feel a bit behind. But the question always is, how much should we work? And people talk about trying to find balance. And I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, I don't think balance exists. I'm like, because if you try to do that uh, and you said, okay, I'm going to sleep eight hours, work eight hours and spend eight hours with my family, there would be no time for physical health, mental health, self-care or service of others. Like balance isn't a thing. And we, we usually go mad trying to figure out balance. I think instead we should follow the rhythms of nature. And the rhythms of nature are seasons. Uh, wherever we live, we go through seasons. Um, more consistently here where I live, there's a definitive uh, winter, spring, summer, and fall. And uh, when I look at the pattern of nature, I see that as a pattern of which by we should live our lives. And so if you are uh, an entrepreneur, if you own your own business, if you are a realtor, if you're a salesperson, if in any way you have control over your own uh, destiny in any way and in income, then seasons are what you follow your life back. Now, why don't I mention the nine to five job? Well, uh, I listen, I've worked many nine to five jobs. You know what I mean by that, the hourly jobs. They, you go to work, you come home, you don't work on the weekend. You know, uh, that's often the case. Uh, uh, you know, you work incredibly hard, but the defined hours are just that, they're defined hours. 
So if you have a job where hours are not defined and they uh, the success of what you do is determined by how hard you work or how you work, then you're going to have to live a life of seasons. So here's what I mean. Uh, you know, Capitalize is still a relatively young company, five years old. Um, well, this is a season of building. And so right now, um, I try everything I can to make the time with myself, my time with my family meaningful. I set aside specific time for my physical health. That's a super priority for me. Um, I have things I do within the community. Uh, but then it's grind season. I mean, we're building and building and building. And, uh, you know, what? when I know people who are like, hooray, new year. And I'm like, what's new about it? What, what are you going to add or change? You know, for me, I look at it. I'm like, I have to find new areas in which I can put constructive time together because this is a season of building. Now, you might say in those seasons, well, when is enough enough? Well, when enough enough is when you hit your goal or you create a structure in which you're able to set back. Now, I know what the financial goals are for me and the company and for my my personal wealth. Those are things I work on regularly. Um, you know, but in the long range, I'm going to want to create a business that uh, is ultimately going to create revenue for me and I can move into a different role. Right now, I'm still in the role of marketing and sales, my marketing company. So I know that the financial growth of my company is directly dependent upon how hard I work. And I know folks will say, well, I would rather work smarter than harder. Um, but honestly, at the early stages, you have to do both. Uh, you can't work smart and then just take a bunch of time off on the early stages and hope to build a, a business that's going to take care of your family. Again, with the rising inflation seven and a half years, year after year, uh, fast food is not up seven and a half percent. The regular food that a lot of people up is up 45 percent. The grocery store is skyrocketing. It's not up seven and a half percent. We have to earn more money. And if you own your business or your wealth is dependent upon what you do, you're going to have to work hard. Harder and harder. Yes, work smarter, but if you work smarter and gain more time, that time then has to be put into earning and generating more leads, more wealth, more revenue. So right now, this is the season for me. This is the season of putting in lots of hours and building and building. Now, I am looking forward to the time and I have plans for the time where I move into a different role and I'm not doing as much, quote unquote, hustling to get the revenue. But most of us have to ask that question, what season are we in? There will be seasons where I am able to um, do other things. Uh, but quite honestly, this is what I want to do. Again, if I'm purposeful and disciplined about my physical and mental health, if I'm purposeful and disciplined about the time with my family, then I am freed up to spend this time because quite honestly, I don't want extra time just watching shows or watching tap from the Netflix doesn't gain me anything unless, excuse me, those shows are with family or if they're educational on my part. Don't get me wrong. I watch lots of movies, um, but typically they're with family family. I just don't sit on the couch and watch, and watch television for two, three, four hours, because for me, that's not the season I'm in. Don't know if it's the season I'll ever be in. Uh, the changing season for me would be freed up time to travel and do those things with Amy and my girls. But the question is, for all of us, how do we determine what season we are in? Well, if you are not making the revenue, or if you don't have the lifestyle you want, the season you are in is working towards getting those things, or then you must be content where you are at. If you're not making enough money in light of the economy, then the season you're in is figuring out how to make more economy. Things just don't magically change. Now, for me, because I own that, I enjoy this season. I do. I'm looking forward to a different season, but right now I enjoy this season. I enjoy setting myself and the company apart by my work ethic. But the big question for you is to ask, what season are you in? Own that season. But if you're trying to go for balance, I just don't think it exists. Not in the idea that we use it. There's no way to get equal time to every single thing. So, like, for example, uh, you know, this, I, we were in a season when our kids were younger and they needed more of our time. We gave them that time. But right now, all three girls of mine drive. They have uh, you know, they have boyfriends. They have uh, school. They have, I mean, they have their things. I participate in as many of those as I can, but they have uh, their adults, 22, 20, and 17. So it's just not that season. But you know what? I've got one daughter who's got winter guard competitions every weekend coming up, and I'll be at all of them. So guys, the question is, what season are you in? And then own that season. If you want a different season, you have to earn it. 
And so unlike the patterns of nature, our seasons don't rotate without us putting effort into it. The seasons of nature come and go, come and go. We have nothing to do with it. If you want a different season, you have to create it. And you might say, I'm in the season where I need to make more money. But if you don't do anything, you're not going to get it. You might say, I'm in the season where I need to get healthy. But if you don't do something about it, you're not going to get it. So guys, that's my take. If you own in any way your own economy, you've got to recognize that you're in seasons of growth constantly until you get into a plateau where you have the life and lifestyle you want. Some say, is that workaholism? I don't think so when you understand and your family understands the season you're in. This is the season we're in. And we're trying to build a, a business in the most difficult economy in years. And by, you know, I'm very, very thankful we had a great year in 2023 and I have bigger goals for 2024. My take, I hope it's enjoyable for you. If you have feedback on it, don't hesitate to reach out. Now, right now, as we transition, I want to let you know about a wonderful opportunity for everyone in the real estate industry. This is a difficult season for the real estate industry with interest rates and various other things. And I want to help out as many folks as possible. So what you're going to see in the show notes is a link to a seminar on Thursday, this Thursday, the 11th. It's called Setting Yourself Up for Real Estate Success in 2024, a long name, I know. And it'll be in person in Fredericksburg, and it'll also be online. So I encourage you to check out. The link is in the show notes. You can come in person. It's from 1 to 4 Eastern time, or you can hop online. It's going to be tremendous, and I'm going to give you tools so you can have a successful season in 2024. So please sign up. I hope you enjoy it. And as always, guys, thanks for tuning in. Lots of great things coming, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much, friends. See you again next week.